Okay, yeah, so um, what we've been doing this summer is switching things up a little bit in terms of how we're feeding the dogs. We uh, um, typically used to just keep a water can full all the time on their house in the summer and then feed them uh, um, once at night. We would just pour the given amount of kibble we were giving them that they required. Um, on top of the water can, oops, and uh, they would drink the whole thing down, then they'd come back around and fill up their water can again. And it, it seems like then during the day they would never drink any water. So um, I don't know. It just didn't seem right that they weren't drinking their water during the day, unless it was really, really, really hot. So I switched to just kind of watering them twice a day and I, I feed the same amount in the morning as I feed at night three of these scoops uh, it's not a lot well you can't really see down in there too well um, but it's it's just three of these scoops there's a relative size um, Kind of a big scoop, but uh, it's just three of those a day, and it, it ain't much down in there. Or, or uh, th three three scoops per bucket, and then I do it morning and night. So it works out to I'm feeding 64 dogs, one bag of dog food a day exactly, and that's holding their weights pretty nice. And each dog gets about one of these ladles per per uh, feeding or watering, whatever you want to call it. And uh, and they seem to um, they hardly uh, it cuts way down on the stool volume, and um, they hardly seem to poop at all. I only have, I've only been scoop in the yard about every other day because there's it's hardly nothing in there after after um, you know, one day. So I think it's more efficient spreading the feedings out twice like that. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, and then they get they are taking ingesting not as much water as they do at night, but they're it's spread out over over a 24-hour period. You know, I feed them about every 12 hours is the way it works. So I think they're staying better hydrated throughout a 24-hour period doing it this way. Um, and they dig it. They they don't they eat everything. They're they're kind of it's I think it kind of keeps them a little bit hungrier and. They don't leave any food at all. I mean, there was sometimes this whole way that we would feed that they would, uh, you know, some of the pickier ones wouldn't finish all their food and it would just sort of sit sit in there and and get gross and then I'd have to tip it out and then the ravens would eat it. And, um, you know, just the, the very pickiest dogs, you know, would do that. But this this way I think it keeps them a little bit hungrier. I mean their weights are, are great. It's holding their weight just fine, but they're eating better and I like that. I don't like wasting food obviously. I like training them to eat everything. So it's I think it's working out a little better to do it this way. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate that into the winter routine, but I'm gonna try to to um, spread it out like that 50-50 throughout the day versus we typically would feed, you know, a heavy feeding at night and then kind of a watering in the morning and and it was just sort of the same deal, you know, the, the good eaters would finish it and sometimes if they're tired or or it was cold out they would they wouldn't uh, some of the pickier ones wouldn't necessarily finish all their food and it seemed like we were feeding a heck of a lot of ravens last winter. Um, I mean, they maintain their weight pretty good, but uh, uh, this way I think we'll be a lot more efficient. So I, I think we'll, and 
and it's more similar to the way I think that that we feed on long distance races too, kind of giving them um, even volume feedings uh, more often rather than a a big thick meal and then a watering. I don't I don't typically feed them that way in a thousand mile race.